Last time on The Ties That Bind. Many months pass since their last journey's end. Wolfgang, Denier, and Asmo's path have crossed once again as they are introduced to T-Wig, the magical mechanical construct created by Tim Riatson, what he calls an Arcanoton. Looking to provide Timri with more funding to attempt to recreate these results, our three heroes and their new inquisitive companion made audience with the royal dragons Tia and Horesh, who were intrigued by Tiwig but ultimately wanted a field test. It seems a series of raids have been plaguing the towns near Fallwood. So, our heroes set forth once again to the site of their first meeting. So as the arcane curtain surrounding you drops, you're in a large wooden room. The uh, temperature in the room seems to have dropped a little bit. There are a few guards standing around you. They notice that it's you. Uh, T-Wig, a lot of them are staring very curiously at you. Hello. I wave. Uh, hi, says one of the uh, half-elf men, just... Uh, <clears throat> The rest of them kind of like look at him. He stands back at attention. Uh, you're, you're free to go, sirs. Uh, and, is uh, is uh, Venariel with us still, or did she just lead us to the teleporter room? Uh, she just led you to the teleporter. Aww. She has a uh, few more business pieces to take care of in Dragon's Rest. Okay. Basically, they're leaving you to your machinations to solve these issues that are plaguing the area. <clears throat> As you step outside, uh, the guards will lead you towards the exit. Asmo, Denier, Wolfgang, you're greeted with the familiar sight of Amber Glade with the uh, winds brushing past fields of wheat. And... Uh, Tiwig, this place is a lot less congested than the place you just left. There's a lot more open air. There's some birds flying around in the sky. There's a windmill off in the distance. It's still not anything you're incredibly used to, but it's nicer. Oh, I, I like step forward and just kind of like rest my hands at my waist. I can't breathe, but if I could, I would take a deep sigh. <laughs> I look on. Is it like a farmland? It's, it's very farmland. It's kind of uh, hilly. Out near the mill, there's some uh, fields of rolling wheat. And out towards the other side, if you look northward, you can start to see some forest popping up over the hill lands. There's a nice tall tree with a... Or on top of a hill, there's a nice tall tree with some very pretty flowers blooming off of it right now. Does it stand out? It stands out, and Wolfgang, this is a very familiar tree to you. Mm-hmm. Whoa, look at that tree. Yep. Big old that, tree. Look at that wheat. I pointed the wheat. How much has the city changed, or the town changed at all? Uh, it's definitely become... It's definitely bigger. Like, there are huh. a few more houses in town. You can tell that there's been a small population growth, if only because there's a new fort not too <clears throat> far away from here. And oh. uh, some people with their families have moved in accordingly. Oh, wow. Asmo just takes a look around. Now oh, it's been forever since I've been back in town. Asmo <sighs> <sighs> just sits there, just like kind of has a whole kind of melancholy reaction, like, huh, well, here I am again in this damn town. <laughs> Walking yep. towards you is a familiar face, but an unfamiliar form. Uh, Wolfgang, you were. While you were moving your stuff back and forth, you, you recognize that uh, Slump has been doing his best to get in better shape. But Terran Slump is now actually a relatively normal-sized individual. His head still seems a bit uh, pointy, but he steps up to you. Hello, welcome to Amber Glide. Uh, oh, it's you lot. What brings you back? And you got a friend. Hello, I am T-Wig. It is nice to meet you. Uh, Terran Slump, captain of the town guard, at your service. Hey, Slump, how are you? You not haven't gotten a promotion yet, huh? There ain't much more to get promoted from when you're captain of the town guard. If oh. I do say so, I'm doing pretty good in my position. 
Oh, well, congratulations. It's so, uh, so happy for you. Uh, cut the man some slack, Osmo. has been working very hard to try and maintain his position and improve his nah, physique. I'm just mad because anyone who throws me in jail, I get a little bit pissed at. To be fair, uh, I punched him in the face, and also t you had to be there for it. What is jail? It's uh, an unfair place that people who had a legitimate business are placed. It's where bad yeah. people go. Uh, well, like oh. Every day you get your lock up a hero to this city. So, yeah. <laughs> So, what brings you lot down this way? Well, actually, uh, the little metal person over there is what brings us T-Wig. Uh, got some, uh, let's just say we're testing T-Wig's capabilities in service to the crown. Oh, so you lot's about here for them raids. This is what's been happening to them caravans. That's about right. Raids. Get of it? Yeah. Yeah, hmm. them's traders is what's moving back and forth. Dems oh. is being raided. Hmm. How many times has it been hit so far? Well, it started off pretty slow, but now it seems like any caravan it tries to make its due up that way down past the Fallwood, they gets raided pretty quick. Are they targeting big groups, small groups, medium? Is it specific? It seems to be or... rare, indiscriminate. Mm. Interesting. I ain't heard nobody dying on this path yet, but I ain't too good for business if traders ain't willing to come down this way. Huh. So the people are surviving these attacks? Yeah. Uh, in fact, there's some traders down at the tavern if they ain't left yet. Hmm. Might stop by and ask them a few questions. They probably know more than ours do. They ain't come much, uh... Them raiders ain't really poking their noses out this far. All right. I think our first stop is the tavern, then. Oh, if only we could be so lucky all the time. Aswell well rubs his hands together. That works out as you step toward the uh, tavern, which now has a much... Uh, the patio to this tavern is much nicer than it used to be. It used to just have, like, a couple of tables out there. Maybe some people will be playing some dice. But uh, now it's a much nicer open-air thing. It has a nice veranda over the top of it. Seems to take uh, keep out any inclement weather. And the interior is much nicer decorated as well. In fact, it looks like they actually have staff. It used to be run by, you know, the barman and his wife. But now it's, it seems like there's actually people here to take care of the large crowds that have been coming. Is right there a turn? Lots of people. This is very similar to the meat place we went to, but instead it's all about drink instead. Mm. T Wig kind of, the ears kind of tilt on T Wig. What's wrong? You know, like the tall guy, the scary one with the mean face and the giant piece of metal? Crash. Yeah, you told me, like, he fights kind of like the same way animals would fight over, like, food. I'm getting really confused, because there's lots. Like, like Uncle Fuck just said, there's the meat house, and then there's a place just for drink. It seems like... I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of things. I don't get why there's fighting. Horace is more, he, what he is, is he's the head of the army. It's his job to protect the territory. He fights more for territory and to protect what's within his territory rather than just fighting for food. Because we've got plenty of food, but he wants to make sure that everybody in his pack is protected and safe, which is why you're here. We want to see if you're capable of defending the pack. Should the time and should the need arise. Hmm. t doesn't say anything else and follows uh, Asmo. As you're looking around the tavern, there are lots of 
humans about, lots of half-elves, the usual lot that usually live around Amberglade. Uh, but you do notice a couple of particular, well, basically one big sore thumb that kind of sticks out is a pink flamingo kenku. He has a turban beset with a ruby. He's uh, sitting at a table alongside a halfling and a snake man with scale patterns not dissimilar to Asmo's. Does Asmo notice a similar snake? Uh, it'd be kind of hard for you not to, as you don't usually see your own people around here very often. Mm. I'll bet you anything those are our traitors. The snake man and the halfling look pretty roughed up. Halfling mm -hmm. has an arm and a sling, and the snake's got some bandages over his head. Uh, um, interesting. Can I scan the Kenku from the distance we're at? Uh, not really sure what kind of a distance we're working at. As, as you get closer, though, you'd definitely be able to, I'd say, within if you're within, like, five to ten yards. Okay, I'm going to try and do that, but I don't want to be, like, obvious. I want to be kind of, like... Get right in its face. <laughs> <laughs> the bird seems to be talking uh, quite a bit with its two companions. Seems to be flapping its bill a lot. Hmm. Asmo grabs a drink and sh starts walking on over there, kind of like, I guess, <clears throat> making a making a kind of a scene about it, making some noise on his uh, way there. The Kenku seems to notice you as you step up. Uh, oh, hello. Hello there. Uh, Asmo gestures over for the other the others to come on over. Look, Darcius, looks like you have a friend. I'm gonna follow along. Uh, you said Darcius? Darshisk. Darshisk, and he was gesturing towards the snake, right? Yes. The snake looks over. Uh, the uh, snake man looks up at you. Half of his head seems to be kind of bandaged. Well, so what happened to you? Well, we were attacked on the road, trying to oh. make our way up toward the wall to trade some of our goods. Were you running protection, or were you trading? I was running protection along with my comrade here. This is Raoul. The halfling gestures towards you. Doesn't really say anything, just kind of nods at you. Hmm. Interesting. Don't mind me asking. Uh, Dar Darshishk, is it? Darshisk. Darshisk. Where do you hail from? Not used to seeing a similar snake. Is he got the same yellow markings as Asmo? Uh, it seems that way. He has the yellow markings around the mouth, and a couple of his scales seem to be yellow. Hmm. But forgive me, I'm not used to seeing a uh, snake as similar to myself, so forgive my impertinence. I hail from the southwest swamplands. Uh, we hail from the same area then. I right. imagined we look to be of a similar brood. What is your name? Uh, since I was not given one for my parents, kicked out of the clutch. Too many. Too many mouths to feed. You know how it is for some of the bigger families. My name is Asmo. By the way, this what? whole time they're just going... <laughs> they're just hissing at each other. Yeah, oh, so Tiwig, Tiwig is watching, like, like fascinated, like, David Attenborough. Like... Oh, my God, they sound exactly the fucking same. What are you talking about? He sounds completely different. Like, are they speaking a different language, or...? <laughs> Let's just say they're going very guttural with their with their with their common speak. Okay. Mm. Nonetheless, I believe our, le our intrepid leader here has a couple of questions for you. As well, Pat's uh, uh, smacks the <laughs> Wolf King on the lower back, not the butt, but above it. So, mm. what are your questions, leader? Yes, tell us. What can we answer you? Well, first of all, you can call me Wolfgang. Secondly, well, Wolfgang, my name is Flanders of the Fairtrade Fairfeather Company. 
Flanders of the of, of the what? The Fair Feather Fair Traders. Oh my god. Oh god, okay, Fair Feather. Oh my god, there's so many vowels. Fair Traders. Oh my god, I, I love the name. I love them. Flanders. Yes? It's a very exotic name. I had many exotic wares. How tall is this son of a bitch? <laughs> He's sitting down right now, but you can tell his neck is like probably a quarter of his body. Oh my god, I love How him. This is the stupidest question. How pink is he? He's very pink. He eats a lot of shrimp. Mm. <laughs> That's good science, Nick. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love that you called him Flanders. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Flanders the flamingo. Uh, how beat up is the snake? Uh, he looks like he's gotten his like. He looks like he got his shit wrecked in around his face. Uh, the halfling looks like his arms in a sling. Uh, uh, Halfling also has like a broken bow on his back. Would it be worth it to use a spell on them, or do they look like I could do a medicine check maybe to help them? Uh, you'd have to do a medicine check to figure out what uh, how extensive the injuries would be. I will. I will do a medicine check despite not having the same sort of body. That's a natural one. You kind of <laughs> get directly in the face of the snake, and it's. It just kind of puts his palm over your face and pushes you back. Mm. <laughs> well, I I reach out and I shake each of their hands individually and I introduce myself. Wolfgang, Wolfgang Connolly, uh, Grandmaster of the Kylum Diaboli. Uh, it's come to my attention that there are some bandit raids on some traders around here that have been increasing in frequency and we're my group oh yes, into. those ruffians found us when we were out past the woods. Yeah, past the woods, you say? Uh, how did they seem organized, and how many of them were there? Hard to say how organized they were. They uh, they attacked at night. Were you? Which were seems you... to come a lot earlier around here than I am used to. Mm -hmm. Don't go what... too far north. You'll have to bundle up. What? What did they look like? Uh, there were some little ones, uh, cave dwellers, goblins. Mm. And they, uh, they had some muscle with them. Bigger guys. Bugbears, I think, is what they're called. Mm. Mm. Goblins and goblin sub-races as well. You didn't see any hobgoblins as well, did you? I don't know, they kind of popped out there. They got Raul real quick. His throat still hasn't quite recovered. As for me, they... Well, they clubbed me pretty good. I you know, think he got beaned pretty hard. Uh, he'll recover. Would I know if it's a goblin purview to let their victims live? You've only really been to one goblin town. We did kill a bunch of them. It's true. Yeah. If only we knew a guy who specialized in goblins. Mm -hmm. Would goblins show up in my book of lore? Uh, as you are a monster hunter, goblins would probably not be mentioned too much in your book of lore. Your book seems to focus a lot more on the supernatural creatures like ghosts or the undead or lycanthropes. Things of that nature. Hmm. I guess I've got some pages to fill out there, and he closes the book and puts it back in his pack. That sounds really scary, though. Mm. Like, a bug that's also, like, a bear? No, they're... Like, does it have, like, five, like, no, arms? It, it, trust me, that, that went through me for a loop, too. The best way of describing them is, uh, imagine, like, a goblin, but bigger. And oh. smellier. Trust me, smellier. And hairier. That one always tripped me out, too. Oh, I kind of nod. Yeah. Still kind of confused, but I'm like, all right. Okay. Yeah, T-Wig. It's, it's another one of those cases where something is named something that they're not. Oh, like they're Wolfgang? Neither... Yes, exactly. <laughs> I am neither a wolf. I guess I have a gang, but... Eh, no. Yeah, but they're also not wolves, so still not true. Wolves also travel in packs. They do. The, the uh, Kenku just kind of points at you. So they ambushed you at night, took your goods, 
and then let you live. That is very strange, at least from what I know about him. Hmm. And whereabout you said uh, a little bit north in the forest, you said? Yes, just in the foresty area. It'd be a... Uh... I don't know, you got... Do you have a map I might be able to mark it for you? Uh, was it, is it near Fallwood Borough? Uh, we were on our way to it, so... Hmm. Okay. Uh, I would have a map at this point, would I? Yeah. Yeah, right. you'd probably have a small map of the area. All right. Uh, I, I pull out my map and I hold it in front of him. All right, now let's roll some knowledge checks on these boys. Yeah, buddy. All right, the Kenku doesn't really have a head for it. But the halfling, actually, Raul, stands up. He takes a small quill from the Kenku. He kind of marks an area on the map for you. Seems to be uh, probably three quarters of your way to the Fallwood Barrow. Just down the path. Asmo uh, turns uh, to Flanders. What were you carrying or trading in? Well, we were trying to bring up some exotic leathers. Oh, uh, okay. Some nice materials. We're quite stuck with the hunt down in the southwestern swamps, as you probably know. He says, <laughs> kind of like looking you over your scales. Don't assume too much. I was only there for a short time when I was a child. Well, lucky you. Not really. <laughs> Asmo, is there a... Do you lose all your stock? Is it all gone? Mm, no, they managed to get away with one of my wagons, but the other one is still stocked. Kind of points out there. You can see a wagon being pulled by a couple of oxen. If uh, that happened to be returned to you with most of its stock intact, that'd be a... Uh... That'd be a heck of a reward-worthy feat, wouldn't it? Asma licks his lips. I wouldn't say no. Oh. The uh, flamingo says. Yeah, you best hope. I'll keep an eye out for it. And Asma winks. I beeline it to those oxen outside. <laughs> 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 They're just uh, chewing on some cud. No. Pet one. Roll the pet. Do I have to? No, no. it lets you okay. pet it. All right, I figured it would work cool. It's it's ear flicks as your uh, hand touches it, but... Pfft. I am going to scan it also. Docile right. city oxen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You uh, you got a pack oxen. So I can find it in my book. <laughs> All right, the moment I've done that, I, I don't want to stray too far from the rest of everybody, so I immediately run back inside. Just kind of like run over, touch the oxen, run back inside. Friends got a, like, the flamingo tap set condition, or? Uh, just lively. Hello. Mm. You have to for you'll have to forgive uh, our friend who was just their birthday. Yes. Oh. Yeah, sort oh. of uh, sheltered until now. I was born yesterday. Uh, so they say. <laughs> Pat on the back. Hey, 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 laughter. <laughs> Alrighty. So All three of them away. are just kind of darting eyes back and forth between each other. Alrighty, Master Flanders. Thank you so much for the information from you and your uh, uh, guards. Yeah. I've just got one more question, actually. Do you know of anybody else who was attacked? I mean, we haven't talked to anyone. But there's been rumors of this happening, which is why I hired these gentlemen. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, we've we've been we've been told that there are several several of these attacks. Well next time I'll make sure to double the guard. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be necessary once we're done, but thank you for the information. You're welcome. If there's anything the Fair Feather Fair Trade Company can do for you Find a way to contact me. Certainly. All right. Asmo just like knocks on the table and walks away. All right. They go back to licking their wounds and drinking their beverages. I will also knock hat. on the table and leave yeah, as well. Tink, tink. Double dab. Sorry, I interrupted you, Connor. Oh, I was just gonna say as I sort of tip my hat and turn around. 
So what direction? And so we're, we're, we would need to head to the north, uh, west. Yeah, north, north. Mm. Yeah, north, westish. Mm. All right. Five gold says they're from Dark Launch. Those boys. Hard to say. It well, could be legit. Could be legit. Unlikely. If you. After we got across the mall, I told uh, I told Tia about their secret little tunnel, their secret little smuggling tunnel. No telling if they went ahead and shut that thing down or not. Fair enough. Well, since there's since there's an alliance between the two sides of the country now, uh, I think any secret entrances would be. Filled in really Don't quickly. Live, especially since it is a goblin town. Mm. If it is Dark Launch and we have to go back there, they're not going to like it. Oh, no, they will. They'll love it. I finally a chance to finish us off. <laughs> yeah, but do remember they have uh, they have Duragar down there as well. Oh, they do. No, they do. All right, so what's the plan? We're gonna head out of town, rest for tonight, stay at your old house. Well, didn't the guy say that they attack at night? Well, they do. Maybe we go out at night, and then when they come out, we, you know, we stop them. Oh, set a trap. You're saying you want to set a trap. I like how you I, think, T-Wig. You've been I turned, I, I turned in here. Is that what I'm saying? Kinda, yeah. More or less. Okay. Um, well, that's that's an easy way to find them. Let's. Ooh. How about this? Let's get a wagon, load it up with some uh, useless crap, and let's ride on out and wait for them to come and get us. Little do oh. they know. I could um, I could turn into one of those, and I point to the uh the oxen that I just scanned. Are you still gonna be uh shiny? Uh. I guess. Hmm. Oh, the middle question is, will goblins even notice? <laughs> I was actually I think, wondering if goblins would notice that. I think they're more worried about what we've got than what we're riding on. That's fair. All right, well, you guys, we all in agreement then? We're going to do this. Yeah, the only problem is I can only be like that for a, uh, about two hours, and then after that, my um, I kind of touched my chest. I can't really maintain it for too long. Mm -hmm. We can always rent some oxen. <gasps> we can do that? Yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting you don't know much. Yeah, what we can do is rent some oxen, get a wagon, trap. And as they're running up there, I just I slit down the side of the, uh, of the wagon and go, Booyah! And I just jump out at them. Booyah! 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uncle Fuck's got a plan. Yeah, you do. Don't start calling yourself that. Oh, you gotta own it. You gotta own it. <laughs> Alright, so your plan is to rent some oxen? And yeah. a wagon? Oh. Alright, it looks like the uh, oxen are a little hard to come by, but you're able to get a horse. That'll do. Scan that. <laughs> You've scanned a horse. Giant dog. Nice, nice, nice. Kind of, technically. Alright. Uh, Asmo turns to Daenerys. You'd be really quiet there, Daenerys. What's going on through your head? I've been thinking a lot. You always do that. I told you you shouldn't do it so much. No, this entire thing has me a little bit concerned. We've got friends in the Fallwood, in the mm -hmm. Hexwood. Yeah. I'm a little bit concerned that these uh, bandits might have hit them, too. Well, we're heading that direction. We might as well Check stop out. and find out. Yeah. Dinner slowly turns and he looks at T-Wig. He shakes a finger towards T-Wig. You're going to like Maggie. You're Maggie. really going to like Maggie. Maggie. Yes. Is she nice? 
She is an incredibly lovely person. Oh, okay, good. And she has a lot of cats. Oh, she has lots of cats. That have magical powers. Oh, I kind of bounce up and down a little bit excitedly. (laughs) And one of them talks. It's, It's not normal. No, no, it's not. Which is why they have magical powers. Well, she's a witch, so... What is a witch? Like, person who does magic, but like unconventional stuff in the woods. Gotcha. They do weird stuff that makes cats talk. Mm. More or less. Brew potions, cast spells. They're more like... They're more like demonized alchemists really mm. any okay. she, I've, we, we've we've all met her she's except you Wig. she's not she's not really a true witch I oh we don't you never yeah. know what the witch is I'll well, let you know when we come across an actual witch hey Wolfgang okay. what's a demon demons uh... oh shit <laughs> Demons don't exist in this world, or didn't exist it's what, in this it's world. It's what you've come to call these monsters that you've been coming up against that deal with that chaotic energy. Gotcha. Okay. No, uh, I just wanted to make sure that that was established that we call them demons now. Yeah, you can call well, them demons. Well, uh, Denier. Seeing uh, as... See, we, we've all experienced what demons are. They're basically whatever the bleeding god spawns is, is what a demon is. Is that what you're running with? I think you would call them like uh, ble- ble- bleeders or something like that. But it's demons. not good. Demon. 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 As I was standing it out under his, his voice. Demon. It's a demon. It's like... Demon. It's not bad. You can say it really angrily. Demon! <laughs> Call them. It's it's like a it's a celestial word that means basically like great evil one or something like that. Oh. Two okay. gods. Well, anyway, we should probably get to uh, renting this cart, renting this horse. Uh, what are we gonna fill it with? Ooh. Yeah. What do you have at your house? Still. Hmm. Let's go check. <laughs> yeah, you all make your way down to the end of town where uh, Wolfgang's cottage resides. It's been uh, it's been a while since you've opened these doors. It feels a little musty inside. A couple of spiders have made their homes in the corners of your old abode. Uh, I'd like to sneak away from the party if I can. Right, go, ahead roll, go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll stealth versus their perception if they're. Oh boy, plus zero. Let's go, loud boy. Yeah. Four. Clank, clank, clank. I have a passive. I have a passive perception of twelve. So no. Clank. We just all see him slowly. We all see Tigwig slowly slide behind yeah. a tree, before we get to the house. Um. I don't know. Just let him do his thing. I mean, let him her it do its thing. It doesn't want... seem to stray. It doesn't seem to stray too far. Come on, just give it its... It's getting used to existing, I guess. Ugh. Fair enough. I start... Am I, am I right? Am, am I right, Denier? There's nothing on these streets that'll harm Tiwig. I mean, let Tiwig wander aimlessly for a while. I used to do it all the time. And look where you ended up. Almost dead up north. <laughs> that's what well, trying to make a point. That's only I start... after I got in league with you two. Hey. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> I start prestidigitationing the shit out of my old cottage. <laughs> How much yeah, you, shit you start, you start You start magic mating it. Yeah, I pretty want, much. I want to head up to that tree. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, as Wolfgang is cleaning his old cottage and Asmo and Denier are ransacking it for things that they can put in to look like trade goods. Aswell just pushes from off, just into the frame with uh, Wolfgang. You don't like this couch, right? <laughs> Aswell uh, just keeps I'm... pushing out the door. <laughs> you hear arguing going on in the background. Run, run. Walk up the hill. <laughs> and you find yourself in front of a beautiful, what is essentially a cherry blossom tree. 
Whoa. And it seems very nice here. Uh, you can overlook the town as the uh, sun is starting to dip. It's not quite dusk, but evening is coming. I'm going to press my fingers on the bark of the tree. And I'm going to cast Speak with Plants. As you, as the uh, magic energy surrounds you and you begin to feel this force work its way into the tree. Hello, I am Tiwig. You are quite old, older than me, I think. Hello, I am, I don't have a name. Oh, I don't well, think I had a voice. Well, I'm just lending you mine for a while. Oh, um, how thank about you. we call you? Well, you're a cherry blossom tree. How about we call you Cherry? Cherry, I like that. You've been hello, here for Tiwi. a while, huh? Oh, hello. Yes, I've been here since. Well, since I sprouted, long ago, many how years. How long? How long is long ago? Oh, I've seen that sun rise and set. Thousands of times. Wow, it's real old then. I, I mean then the good way. It's like it's a good thing, you know, for trees, not for people. Yes. Yes, many people, they... They come and go. Some don't return. Where do they go? I don't know. I've never been. Hmm. Um, I, I point to the house. That's Wolfgang's house. He's not actually a wolf, and he's only like one guy, but he lives there. Hmm. The man who lives in that house, I am familiar with him. Yes. Really? Yes, he's come many times. He must like you a lot, because you're really big and pretty. Yes, I stand guard over something he loves. What is it? He left someone here. Someone not like the rest. They don't move. They've nourished me the ears kind of droop a bit there's a person sleeping under you a very long sleep yes oh mm. you have to make sure they're safe okay i have done my best okay we'll keep it up champ you too T-Wig. We should talk some more. And maybe yes. sometime in the future. I enjoy speaking. Mm -hmm. It is nice. It's strange and refreshing to actually convey things for once. Yes, I've never had the opportunity. Hmm. Well, I'm going to leave you, Cherry, okay? okay? You enjoy the night time, and um, I'll be back, right? Yes. You hear a uh, tonk on the top of your helmet as a... Ow. Cherry. Cherry. Lands in your palm. Wait, what? Oh, like a cherry seed? Yeah. I know exactly what to do with this. Thank you. And I take it and I run back to the house. Farewell. You, you see Asmo just... <laughs> Chucking anything metal outside the house, like metal plates or anything, utensils in a box. <laughs> Goblin, uh, I'm telling you, goblins are gonna like the shiny stuff. Don't fight me on this, Wolfgang. Okay. I mean, it'll it'll work, but my I, I still use this house from time to time. Why? Because <laughs> it's a nice summer cottage. Oh, then why don't you buy some more with your school? Okay. Anyways, boxes I'm of not... metal that go tinkly tink. It's like aphrodisiacs for goblins. Okay. It'll make a pretty noise. Fine, fine. Pack it in. Also, I have idea. I kind of rejoin at this point. Yes. Hello. I, What's up, T Wig? I was thinking, you know, like the merchants, they weren't like you or Wolfgang. They didn't have very clear weapons or anything like that. But Denier, I kind of turn and look at Denier. Denier, I mean this with the kindest way possible. You are the weakest of the pack, it seems. Dot, okay. Dot. Dot. 
I don't mean that like you know you're like bad at stuff. It's just you know you you have books and things and like I don't know. I, I how many push-ups can you do? I don't think you can do that many. That's a good question, I, actually. I think his strengths lie more within his brain rather than his exactly. muscles. Exactly. He's like the smart one. But no, he can. He can. He's also magical. He can cast spells. Mm. Oh. Well, even that there, because like if we have Denier there, you know these things will be like, oh yes, there is the weakest of the herd. Let us bite his ankles and drag him, you know, away. Are you saying he should uh, ride in front then? I look to the rest of everybody. I mean, yeah. You're a smart cookie there, T-Wig. I agree. Okay, so the three of us. That's a fair assessment. I mean, we well, pray like, is know... easy prey. It's like a herd, you know, you pick out the one that looks the less likely to put up a fight. <laughs> Smart oh, thinking. Okay. That's really, that's good. Uh, Asma pats Denier on the shoulder, and I'm guessing Denier was holding a bucket of stuff. Ah, uh, your bait again. Uh, ruffles, I ruffle the hair. At least I'm the only one here that knows how to talk goblin. That's true. Uh, you say that. Asmo jingles his box. I know how to attract a goblin. <laughs> sort of a odd skill. Don't know how you managed to come about that, but that is a question for another time. Mm -hmm. Family taught me. Hmm. All right, mother's no, I... a trader. Mother's a hunter. Hmm. Now you have to do is wrangle a wagon and get yourself a horse. Yep. It, it, uh, does uh silly question? Does Wolfgang have a wagon just in stock there? No. Right. <laughs> not in character, Connor. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not a character, Connor. <laughs> no, Wolfgang does not own a wagon. Yes, get out of character. So, how are you going to go about wrangling a wagon? Oh boy! Uh, go to the wagon porium. I don't. <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh. Go around saying we're on town hero business and we need to requisition a wagon. We could always ask those caravanners too. See if they'd be willing to part with one if we bring back the other one they lost. You know, their caravan was probably destroyed. Yeah, they just have the one wagon left, and it seems to be full of their goods. Or, or we could pack horse it and just load all this stuff. Leave the couch behind. Load up all the forks and spoons into saddlebags, and then just have Denier ride up ahead while we stay in the bushes nearby. Out of character. Oh, they're targeting wagons specifically, so they're mm. in a caravan. Damn. Well, we could just check the general store. Yeah, let's I mean, see that. The last time we left here, Garrick got one, so he had to have gotten one from somewhere around here. That's fair enough. Plus, plenty of farms around here. I'm sure one of the farmers have one. Fair enough. All right, so where are you going to head? Well, first of all, uh, I'm going to let everybody else walk out of the building and then say, T-Wig. Hey. Kneel down. With T-Wig right in the eyes. What? Hi. I, I, I saw, I saw T-Wig go near that tree, right? Oh yeah, my stealth check was four, so yeah. What were you doing near that tree? Hey, I was just taking a look. Insight check. Deception check. Oh come on! <laughs> Another four. That'll beat it. Not great, but it'll beat it. Uh, the the four. robotic face is a little hard to read, but you Start think there's, there's definitely milk. something more to it. I've seen you work magic with plants and animals and stuff like that in the past. What were you really doing? My shoulders kind of slump. It was talking to your tree. Really? Yeah. Their name is Cherry because, you know, there's a, their cherry tree. I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> and um, what did Cherry tell you? Well, that they've been here a long time and people come and go and that they see mm -hmm. you a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and that was it. And tried to deceive again. Where's my deception? Please don't be a fucking four. Twelve. That's better. That is better. Insight again. It's all your rolls. It's all your rolls. Seven. 
Yeah, that's it. Oh, I got this also, and I show him the cherry seed. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. Gonna plant it, make another one? Heck yeah. All right. Well, good for you. Just uh, let me know if you uh, want to come back here. I'll, I'll take you. That sounds good. I promised Cherry I would come back and we talk about stuff. Yeah. Tree's sort of important to me. All trees should be important to you. Well, that one's particularly special. All right. Let's go get us a van or, car or caravan. All right. I followed uh, Wolfgang. And as we're leaving, I take one little glance at the tree and I keep walking. It's it's waving in the breeze. Me. All right, so you're heading to the general store, or? Yep. Yeah. All right, as you pull up, the man seems to be kind of like uh, trying to close the place down for the evening. Oh, hello, last customers for the night. Oh, it's you boys. Long time no see. Indeed. Uh, uh, I'll just, just, just right call him chase. McGregor. You got a, McGregor, you got yourself a wagon? Well, I, yeah, I guess. For rent? Mm. What do you need it for? Uh, you know all those trades been getting hit up along the way? Yeah. Up along the way to Fallwood Barrow? Yeah, we're going to be uh, going intentionally and, uh, wink, wink, do our thing. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, so how much for the wagon? Well, not every day I get to service the kingdom's heroes, but... Uh... Oh, I know. But we are honored for you to help in this endeavor to secure the uh, kingdom. Yep. I could probably part with it for... A hundred golds, and I could give you a fifty of it back if you return it. Hmm. Seems like a fair deal to me. Fair deal to me. Okay, I got uh, out of character. I got five hundred and forty-one gold. How much you guys got? I have eight hundred and fifty gold. I have uh, two hundred and I believe two hundred and ninety some odd. Okay. Zero. Kiwig <laughs> is broke ass. Ah uh, yes. Welcome to being a druid. <laughs> yep, that's the life. It's fine though. Nice. Rock, it's a living. Um, I'll even, uh, I'll even lend you my horse, my old nag, Debbie. That oh, sounds like a fair deal. He would, would like to meet Debbie. It is a pretty name. Mm. All right, Wolfgang rummages through his coin purse and uh, sets down a hundred gold. Thank you very much. Thank you, sirs. Very nice to see you again. Glad to have you back in town. Oh, it's good to be back. Good to be back. Rarely. I love this country air. Oh, it's gonna be it weird. Does, it does a body good. Yes, breathing is excellent. <gasps> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, sorry, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance before. Oh, hello. I am Tewig. It is nice to meet you. Oh, hello, I'm I'm McGregor. Hello, McGregor. Oh, here, I'll show you out to the wagon. Sure, leads I'll go you get the horse. Uh, he, he leads you around back. Uh, his horse is actually out back there as well, just kind of eating in a uh, what seems to be a small pen area. It's kind of like tied there on a like there's a stake in the ground. The horse is just eating some hay off in the corner. How, Say, how how hilariously frumpy is this horse? Oh, it boy. is a scrawny nag. It's uh, kind of got ebon fur. Its mane kind of sticks out every which way as if it like were just about to be struck by lightning. <laughs> and it stands kind of cross-legged. It blinks one eye at a time. She's beautiful. This is Debbie. Oh! <laughs> I think that's a donkey. Wait, is Debbie a donkey? <laughs> like, can I identify this? It's, you're, it's it may it's probably it's a mule. So it's oh, a cross between it. a horse and a 
Question Josh, who, who was the who was the donkey? The mom or the dad? Hard to say. Mm. I have changed my horse stats now to a donkey or a mule. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I will I will walk up and I will pet Debbie. Uh, she's a bit special, but she's uh she does the work. Oh! <laughs> it's the Family Guy horse. It's the. <laughs> I, I can do something here, but I don't want to waste a spell slot, so I'm just going to pet Debbie. I'm going to pull the thing from the ground, and I'm going to lead her over with the wagon uh, to the rest of my companions. The wagon seems to be in fairly decent con- uh, fairly decent condition. All right. Let's Wheel take seems this, sturdy. Let's take this bad boy back up to your house, load it up, and get out of town. Yep, yeah, hitch Debbie up. Old McGregor helps you with that. And, uh... Who would like to pilot the wagon? Oh, I think we decided that Denier was going to do that, right? All right, Denier, handle animal. Oh, boy. God, this should be good. <laughs> That's an eight. It's not bad. You kind of, like, jiggle the reins a little. Oh! <laughs> Debbie kind of, like, looks back and starts biting at the reins a little. Come on. Oh! I know you don't want to go. I don't want to go either. What's the hold up? I'm going to put my hands on Debbie's snout, like nose, and be like, hey, Debbie, it's T-Wig. Um, it would be really, really nice if you could help us out here. We need to do some very important business, okay? okay go ahead and handle animal. Okay. 22. Debbie blinks its left eye. Then slowly bl- blinks his right eye. And then starts walking forward. That a girl, Debbie. Debbie. You're the best. Oh. I'm just imagining we have that, like, we just have part of that couch in the back of the wagon. We're just sitting on it. All right. Now it's our turn. Um, I should see how long this lasts. Uh, as we're following along with this wagon. Yeah, you get it all loaded up at Wolfgang's place, and the sun is starting to dip in the horizon a little. It's starting to make its way. You can see it kind of over the peaks of the mountains right now, still shining out at you. But the horizon's starting to get kind of that golden orange. The moment I think it's it's time to kind of be ready for the ambush, uh, I will cast Pass Without a Trace on myself, Wolfgang, and Asmo. All right, well, you're still leaving Amberglade, and you're okay. feeling like you're... Uh, you're a bit away from the wood. So, Asmo just turning and just chuckle, starts chuckling to himself on the road. You know, I just realized what's really funny about this. <laughs> Last time I had any action on this road, I was robbing people. <laughs> and now I'm going to stop to stop people from being robbed. <laughs> More. Can I just... Ironic than it is funny. You were buying that as right. well. Well, Denier tried saying something? What's up, Denier? Can I just say that I'm not quite sure if it's a racist that you guys put a tabaxi to be the merchant? Well, if it's a scary snake dude with piercings, or the man dressed in white, or T-Wig, it's gonna Hello. be ob- it's gonna be really ob- obnoxiously or we- weird or odd, and having a tabaxi in a cloak, it's like, you know, it's, it's the thing you guys do, it's, come on. I'm not sure it counts as racism if I've only met or heard of the one of you. Damn it. I need to take you to the Southern Islands one day. Now don't you have to go there because that's like where your family lives and you miss them? Denier looks down a little bit. Fucking asthma, I, come what? on. What? I'm sorry, Denier. I I don't want to go. What? I Why don't you want to go? go? Now. You want to go home. I want to go home more than anything, but I can't go back. Think of it like this, Wolfgang. If Solomon knew about Elliot, how much danger would Elliot be in? Quite a lot, I'd imagine. And you know how often we get followed by Solomon's people. And how often they track us. As much as it hurts, it's better off that my family think I'm dead. 
the last thing I want is for them to come after me, them to look at, look for me, and then they find them. The last thing I want is for my village to end up like Birchwood Creek. Twig's ears flick a bit <clears throat> at hearing all that. Well, that's, that's a fair point. That's my brave of you to hear. My bad. That's why I gave up my last name. Oh, was dad one to give up? <laughs> Wish mine wasn't so widely known. Oh, you don't. You don't mean that. You love that your name is widely known. Mm, who, is, who is Solomon? Asmo gets quiet about that. Solomon is a very bad man. Mm. He's you have a small less of, forming on your chest, Asmo. He's less of a. He's not really a man. He's. Do you know what a god is? Yes, you know what a god is. Yes, I do. Solomon is a god. Of what, I'm not entirely certain, but... Hmm. He does unnatural things. He, he slaughtered an entire town of people. For no other reason than that he wanted to. Two eggs ears droop quite a bit. He's a very bad man. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm going to kind of head a little bit up further in the front. All right. Yeah. Uh, we only have the one horse, but Debbie moves at a pace where you can kind of keep up by walking. Horse, quotations. Yes. Mule. <laughs> it's an old nag. This baby got one mule power. Oh! I would like to keep my eyes open. Well, actually, I really don't have to because my passive perception is massive. I'm going to just, you know. Oh, yeah. what, what is your passive perception again? 15? 21. 21. Hot damn. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty high. So. Damn. Uh, what? Besides ambushers, I actually want to keep my eyes up for any wildlife as well, just to kind of make a note of things. All right. As you're traveling, uh, you see a couple of bunny rabbits, uh, mostly blacktail rabbits, nice. kind of hopping around these trails here. Nice. Got a couple of birds that flit between some of the trees that are becoming uh, more mm. and more plentiful as you head further north. You Don't they have enough information gotten... to have one of those? Yeah, like little sparrows and songbirds. You're just getting past the hill country. In fact, just a little bit ago, you just crossed path... Uh, one of the things you would have noticed with your passive perception is there was a big hole. Like, probably about half a mile back or so. A big hole? Yeah, looks like it's about four feet wide, and you didn't really, like, walk up to inspect it, but it looked pretty deep. No, it looks probably dangerous. It looks like a sinkhole, basically. Kind of. Mm. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Yeah, everybody uh, else would remember where that hole came from if you asked them about it, but... You're starting to get closer to the woods as the... Uh, oh, real, 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 real fast. Uh, yes. we, did Asmo notice the hole? Uh, I'll say yeah. Oh, you remember that? Remember that one right there, Wolfgang? That's where Harish landed. Yes, I, I do remember that. Oh. Yeah. Good times. Great way to start the... It's kind of an interesting metaphor to start our adventure up north. Getting backhanded Good by the dragons. You could say you never let me forget. Uh -huh. It's okay, but we got him back. We took his table at the at meat house. <laughs> small vi it's a small victories. Oh, it's a big victory. The meat there is so goddamn good. I don't you know, like him. Ah, join the club. He's a bit uh, rough around the edges. Mm. That is not why I do not like him, though. Mm. Why is that? He looks at me weird. Not like normal. Well, to be fair, I'm not your... hmm? What was that, Denier? He sees your possibility. He's the head of the military. Basically, when he looks at you, 
he sees the possibility of soldiers, defenders of the pack that never eat, never sleep, never tire, and can't feel pain. The ears he, droop and then just kind of mumble and keep moving forward. Wait a minute. Timmy, can you feel pain? <laughs> I don't think so. Congrats. Thanks. No, that's 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 gonna be helpful. I think that's precisely the point, though. Uh, Rach didn't look at T Wig like a person. Looked at her. Looked at it like an object. You saw the interest he took as soon as we mentioned that T Wig doesn't eat, doesn't sleep. You could practically see the armies mon marching in his eyes. What? Why would you want something like that, though? Why would you want anything that doesn't feel? There's... Hey, you notice some movement out of the uh, corner of your eye. Here's Twitch. Turn. Look. There was a tree branch. It just shifted out of the way. And as you notice, a, uh, a bear comes running out. Oh, my God! Comes running? Running friendly it's, it's or not, running? Not, not, not like running towards you, just kind of like like you're passing by what seems to be a small creek. Okay. And it's kind of like wandering up to the creek, just kind of bounding Ooh. out. What color is the bear? It's a black bear. Okay. Oh my gosh. I immediately beeline it towards the bear. <laughs> All right. Be oh. careful. Oh. Hey. Hello. It, uh, as you approach, as you get within like... 20 yards or so of it, it like kind of stands up and looks at you. Hello. I'm going to cast speak with animals. <laughs> you see so many spell slots. I know, I'm excited, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, I've only used two, it's fine. Okay, now that you cast speak with animals, like, ah! It's okay, we're cool. Hello. Oh, oh, ah, metal person! It's okay. I am T Wig. It is nice to meet you. I've known plenty of bitters in my time. Yeah, you all hear T Wig going. Just like playback recordings, like the the cow says. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of like it pops back down onto all fours and now kind of eyes you curiously, kind of tilting its head. You talk me. You oh, talk yes, like me. I do, yes, of course I do. Strange metal person. T-Wig? Uh, yeah, my name is T-Wig. What's your name? Barry. Nice to meet you, Barry. I met a really nice tree named Cherry. You two should talk. Mm, talk to tree, that's weird. Um, I, I, two things. Number one, um, we're currently traveling. Have you happened to see some, some goblins, whatever those are, and, like, bug bears? And no, not bears that are bugs or bugs that are bears, but, like, bigger goblins. It's kind of flicking its hand at its ear. Hmm. What's a... Uh... I saw a rabbit the other day. Hmm. Not the exactly bear. what we're looking for. The bear proceeds to roll an intelligence check. <laughs> oh, no. Well, okay. Have you happened to have seen anybody getting, like, attacked at all? Have you been attacked at all? I ate a deer. The deer got attacked. I got him. Good job, buddy. Um, okay. Well, that's all I have, I guess, for the questions. Uh, number two, can I scan you? It does not comprehend what you're asking it. I'm just going to scan you. I just scan him. <laughs> mm. Hey, T-Wig. One second. Hold on to deer. Black bear for T-Wig's doing their thing. Yeah, but I got a question. I got to know the answer to. All right, just I turn to Denier. Yes, Denier? Can you ask the bear if it shits in the woods? It seems kind of inappropriate. I mean, I assume it does. It's it's and simple. obvious. It's pretty obvious. I know, but I had to. I turned to the bear. You poop normally, yes? Yeah. I ever since I ate the deer, it was good. I turn. I turned to Denier and give him a solid thumbs up. Mystery solved. Like, well, Barry, I will let you go. 
Thank you so much for your time. Um, I kind of pat around. I don't think I have anything to give him. Nope, I had nothing. <laughs> I mm. I just scritch behind his ears a little bit and go, eh, best of luck with hibernation, mm. you know? Hibernate? Or meetings, or, you know, meeting season, whatever comes first. Good luck. Hmm. I walk, I walk it back. Start, it me. starts, like, it, it eyes you for a bit, and then it starts looking into the uh, water, trying to find some fish. All right, I'm going to rejoin my group. So I just talked to that bear. Yeah, uh, so... It hasn't seen any goblins or bigger goblins with misleading names. Hmm. Well, worth a shot, right? Yeah, I figured that might as well ask. Also, I didn't want them to get scared and, like, you know, attack us or tell his other bear friends that we're mean or something. I thought most bears, like, live by themselves. Yeah, but, you know, they have to have make babies somehow. Yeah, you guys are familiar with the uh, journey to Fallwood Barrow. You know that by foot it's a couple days journey, about a day and a half. So, you know that... At the very least, these guys weren't attacked this close to town. Mm. Is our horse equipped with the lantern at all? Did you equip the wagon with a lantern? I don't believe so. No, I don't think we did. We, we do have some came, candles. We, assu we assumed it came with the package we paid for. Uh, I do have <laughs> some candles, I think. With my priest pack. Oh, I will oh. check one thing. Uh... I'm going to use Druidcraft to, to see what the weather's going to be. Uh, how far in advance does this go? 24, 24 hours. hours, okay. Yeah. Um, you can see by the gathering of clouds that there might be some rain tomorrow. You got about a 25% chance of precipitation. Ooh. Okay, not bad, okay. not bad. What's wind looking like? <laughs> wind seems about normal, nothing too high. Fine. All right. Good for the weekend. I yeah. stuff that out. High of 75. Ooh. Low of 63. <laughs> I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I believe that's somewhere <laughs> close to like 15. Okay, so it's going to be nice. 15 to, 15 to 25. Now on to Joe with sports. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, I do, I do have 10 candles. Okay. Well, it's starting to get close to the evening, so uh, some of you are starting to uh, feel the journey on you. Because you're thinking just about like making camp. Uh. Alrighty, Asmo, uh, Asmo turns to Denier, kind of pops his head out of the, the wagon. All right, here's the plan. You, we're going to have to make camp. Well, you're going to have to make camp, but we're going to have to hide in the cart still. Okay. I have to see one person. Oh, let's raid. And might only send a couple guys. That way we can take him, maybe take one prisoner. If there's a group of guys, I'll send a lot of people. Let's keep it on the down low. There's only a couple of us here, right? You guys agree? Eh? Eh? Just kind of gesturing around? Sure. Alrighty. Sounds... Wolfgang, yeah? Sounds all right to me. Okay. Alrighty, Denier, you got to make camp. All right. You begin to slow down the wagon and uh, bring Debbie to a halt. Debbie seems a little restless. Mm. <laughs> okay, Debbie, you're doing a great job. <laughs> gotta stay <laughs> hidden. You gotta stay hidden. Oh, sorry. Debbie, I have to leave you now, okay? <laughs> I will be back. Be a good horse, question mark, uh, until I get back. Slow blinks. <laughs> All right, I join my companions where they're hiding. All right, they're just sitting in the wagon. And Denier, I guess that means it's up to you to set up camp. So go ahead and give me a survival check. Okie doke. Let's see, that is a. That's an 11. Not bad. Hey, you get, you get a smoldering fire going. It's uh, it's not like roaring or nothing, but it, it, it'll warm some meat. And give me a handle animal in order to get Debbie unhitched and uh, in a spot where Debbie's not going to get oh, away. Oh, no, nope, Debbie. That's a five. Uh, Debbie doesn't exactly hoof you, but she tries to take a bite out of your hand. Okay. Misses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Denier just narrows his eyes at Debbie. <laughs> ah! I'm already, I already got a feeling that you and I aren't going to get along on this trip. Yeah, as, as you finally get her unhitched, she starts just kind of like walking away. Oh, no, you don't. He's going to go, uh, he's going to try to at least get her into a somewhat better location where she won't just wander off. But, you know, make sure that she's close enough to where she's won't get run off or anything like that. Um, All right, give me a, uh, let's see, what would using this rope be? I'm going to say survival check. Give me another survival check to try to, like, you know, tie down the horse to the point where it's not going to get, or tie down the mule. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good enough. You get a uh, loop of rope around Debbie's neck and you just kind of tie it to the wagon. Yeah, I've got a, I've got some rope on me, so that'll work. Yes, yeah, so awesome. now Debbie's not going to run away with the wagon. You pop some brakes under its wheels, so it's not going to just start rolling away. And I will go ahead and cast alarm as an area spell with All right. the uh, jingly, uh, audible bell ringing. Alarm. Okay, what exceptions are you making to this? alarm uh this group just basically the wolfgang asmo t-wig denier and debbie okay and while he's casting that i am going to walk around the camp with a stick drawing runes in the dirt and i'm going to cast magic circle Ooh. okay go ahead and click that So you got a, I'd say you can cast it twice and probably encircle at least uh, the wagon part of the camp. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll cast it twice. Since it's not concentration. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to choose, I'll choose Fey for one circle. And I will choose fiends for the other. Okay. All right. So neither those of Fey or Fiend may enter. Just in case. Yeah. All right, with that, the uh, fire is a little smokier than it is flamey, but it provides enough warmth. It's not exactly a cold night or anything. You guys and snack on what provisions you might have on hand. Denier's going to cast a third level spell. He's going to cast Sending. Um, he's going to send a message to Tobias Smith Sr. He's going to basically check in, make sure everything's okay, and make sure the town itself <laughs> hasn't been attacked as of late by these goblins. Uh, you get a message back that seems a little startled at first, but once, like, I assume you introduce yourself in there and just let them know, like, hey, it's Denier. They they automatically know it's me by oh, okay. way of the spell. Gotcha. All right. Uh, he seems a little bit surprised to have been magically invaded in his brain, but uh, he lets you know that uh, the town's a little light on provisions, and it seems that uh, the town has been poked by some goblins every now and again. No, nobody's been seriously harmed or anything. He and his family are fine. Uh, but that there's a rumor out there of a uh, soldier that was patrolling the area that uh, died. And he's going to relay this to Wolfgang and the crew. Yeah, obviously, with the amount of words he's allowed to use, he can't go into great detail, but... Yeah, just basics. Basically, he says, like, be careful, a soldier was rumored to have died out in the woods. So it looks like the Fallwood Burrow's still okay, although they've been raided a couple times. Uh, one so uh, Nobody from the town, sir, but apparently a soldier died in the woods. 
<sighs> sounds like they're just as what kind of says from in the cart sounds like they're just trying to probe see what they can raid hard to say hmm playing it careful Fall City Ray will bring a lot of heat down on them. They've just been hitting up carts. They're just the edges of cities, so... Huh. Well, they've already brought the most heat down on them possible without, you know, the royals coming down. Ah, uh, fair enough. Could be the Dead Eyes. No. Could be working for the Dead Eyes. No. Dead Eyes working with goblins. Not their style. Their cloak and dagger. This is just Bandit tree. Yeah, but if memory serves right, the way that you describe it, weren't the uh, when we were down in Dark Spire or Dark Launch, they were talking about uh, free runners down there. Yeah, that was smuggling though. It's different. This is just that. But this is this is bringing heat. The dead eyes try their best to avoid heat. This is just a naked attack. So probably not them. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, wake me when they show up. Hazel just puts his feet up. Okay, good night. I As feel a lot safer. I feel a lot safer knowing you're here, T-Wig. You are? Absolutely. Oh, it's good. Denier's gonna write a little bit. He's going to, uh, you know, he's going to do a little bit of writing. He's going to do a little bit of reading before he ends up uh, going to sleep after a couple hours. All right. You fall asleep. Uh, Wolfgang, what are you doing in turn? Uh, Wolfgang will probably be, he'll probably just be sleeping. He'll be focused on getting his, uh, on getting some of his power back before anything happens if they get ambushed. Yeah, you tilt your hat over your head and just nod off. It's not the most comfortable night's sleep, but you're covered, and the breeze is kind of refreshing. It keeps the air fresh. T-Wig, what are you doing throughout the night? Oh, boy. Um, I mean, I'm by myself. Everyone else is asleep now. This is sad. I get sad first of all. Um, then... I want to think on what Horatio, the questions Horatio had for me and the answers I gave him. Just kind of think on that, play that repeat in my, you know, my mind over and over again. And then... So Denier is outside and we're in the wagon, right? Yeah, Denier's kind of like... Got a bed roll pulled out by the fire out there. Seems to be dying down a little bit as the night wears on. I'll... Mm, I don't want to be spotted, though. I think about going out to put another piece of wood on the fire, but I, I don't. I just kind of sit. Uh, I think I'm going to stare at Asmo and watch him sleep. <laughs> I'm just going to stare at him the entire time. Like, right, like, maybe, like, one inch from his face. Just watch him. Just, like... You, you, get like close, you get close enough to him that his tongue almost licks out at you. You notice that he flicks it in his sleep. When he sleeps, there's, like, a there's like a little... You know that you know that lem thing where there's a little part of the tongue sticks out? He smells in his sleep. That's fascinating. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep my, uh, my ears peeled, though, for any sound of anything, and just kind of every once in a while just check out and just see if anything's changed. You hear typical nature sounds. Sometimes you hear the screeches of some bats play, uh, playing in the night sky. Uh, sometimes the cart will creak as Debbie wanders a little bit by tugging on the rope that's around her neck. Debbie! Ah. Shh, it's okay. I just kind of sit down. And time begins to move a little bit quicker for you as... Yeah, I'm going to go into my rest state. Yeah, as uh, the mm. sun rises around you. 
the nearer the sun flicks your eyes. The alarm spell did not go off at all during that time, and you awaken, rested. Good deal. Then he's going to break camp. He is you going see, to... Uh, Tiwig, you see that Denier gets up. Oh, I immediately like just beeline it over to him without even thinking. Good morning! Ah, good morning. Uh, with good the luck. rustling of the carts from Tiwig's getting up and over, Asmo and Wolfgang are probably jostled awake. <clears throat> <sighs> so we were not <clears throat> attacked last night. <sighs> Dang. No, you guys were all sleeping. Do you sleep even, or...? No. Oh, wow, we have an automatic guard all the time. That's awesome. Well, I have to stay still and, like, recharge after a while. But I, huh. I'm i still here. I need to keep you supplied with books so you can gain knowledge even while the rest of us are asleep. Well, I like to take the time to think. Thinking's good. Less mm -hmm. less book smart and more worldly. Yeah, we like we like to think a lot. <clears throat> All right. All right. Debbie, Denier. I walk over and I I, I pet Debbie, and for Denier's sake, I I, I deal with her because she's being a jerk. Yeah, Debbie has uh, one eye open. It looks like it's rolled back, and as you approach it, the eye kind of rolls back forward. And the other eye opens. Oh! <laughs> you look great. Oh! How, how, does it have an underbite? Uh, it has kind of like a side bite. Like the jaw's oh, like yes. off kilter. God uh, bless. De Debbie knows you as a good, uh, as a good person. Uh, T-Wig. Yeah. So Debbie will just kind of follow you as you get her hitched back up. All right, lads, let's get back to it. Oh, we should be careful. It might rain today. Hmm. Okay. Sky looks a little overcast. T-Wig seems like might be right. Good thing I brought my hat. The cloak of incognito goes up. All right, your face is now shrouded in dark, in darkness. And you and... continue on down the path. <sighs> feel like by this evening you'll probably make it to where they claim to have been attacked. Almost time, almost time, almost time. Feel antsy, feel antsy. Asmo, you're not used to being cramped up in this tiny space for this long. <clears throat> you've been in this wagon for almost a day. Uh, Asmo just starts popping his legs and arms. <clears throat> Come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go, there we go. Ah. And as well just stretching out. Anybody have any rations that they can eat? Yep. All right, so you sustain yourself. I only need to eat once every six weeks. Yeah, but that's got to be a pretty big meal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, I wanted to ask you something, Wolfgang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, uh, Asma, like, kind of taps at a, taps at a Wolfgang's gun. You, you planning on hitting anyone with that this time? Well, first of all, he doesn't have his gun out. Yeah, he has oh. to summon it. It's in a pocket dimension at the moment. Damn it! I thought it was in a holster. I apologize. Nope. So, your gun, planning on anybody, anybody with it this time around? Well, that's always the plan, Asma. Well. Oh, I know, but it really works out, you know. <laughs> Asma's clearly fucking with you. Are we still hiding while trailing our own cart, like in the woods? Oh, I thought we were in the back of the cart. Oh, we're in the back of the cart. In the, oh, okay. Yeah, Asma's been in the cart. Okay. You do realize I shot a god in the face and it startled him. Asma. Like, but like accumulatively over all the time, you know, it's just. <laughs> As well, clearly trying to backpedal out because he realizes you're taking his joke very seriously. Cumulatively, every time I use that, it's been to devastating effect. Would you not agree? 
when you use magic, not when you actually fire it. Yes, I plan on hitting people with the gun. Oh my god. I'm just sassing you. I was wondering if you uh if you've been training over the last little bit. It's the first time we've actually worked together in the last since we went up north. It's been about nine months, yeah. Yeah, I've been working on my aim a little bit. It's kinda of rusty when it first started. That's why I was giving you a hard time. Obviously you prepped. I don't know. Goblins, huh? Been a long time since we dealt with goblins. I gotta ask though, like, if you're here in the the Deboli school you started up, like, who's running it? I've got teachers in place. It is people who I've taught personally and spread my knowledge to. Mm -hmm. Though once we get back from this, I'll probably go back to leading lessons myself. That'll be good. I'll be good. We'll be good. Sorry, sorry for turning down the request of joining your little school. I consider myself the talented amateur out on the field, freelancer, you know, working for money and exposure. Yeah, you've always been pretty independent. Uh, didn't surprise me that you turned it down, but for what it's worth, I appreciated the invite. Oh, you're certainly welcome. You have proved yourself more than capable. I stabbed a lot of demons in the back of the head. That's true. Demons, 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 demons. <laughs> it's a weird word. <laughs> you, and pass it your time, you pass your time with uh, mild conversation. Sometimes you pull off to the side of the road in order to make some nature breaks. Tiwig, you've... Uh, Seen a couple of deer kind of frolicking in the wood as uh, starting to get a little darker in the sky. Can I scan one of the deer? Yeah, you can scan a doe, white tailed doe. White tailed doe? Okay. As it like runs away, I'm like, bye! It scampers off with its uh, children, its fawn in, in tow. Oh, that's cute. Oh. And as the sun begins to dip, uh, it seems to be dipping a little earlier than usual, but that's to be expected, the route you're traveling. You begin to feel a little bit like you're getting kind of close to that area on the map that they had pegged down. And as you get to an area around here, you notice... Uh, Large tree line. And Tiwig, you definitely feel like there's some stuff out there. You see some rustling in the trees as you slow down. Mm. We're not alone. That's what pulls out his blades. Shh. How sure are you? You see a little bit of rustling, and you kind of pa you see a goblin over there, T-Wig. I see a little green person. Oh, boy, here we go. Here we go. Is it the goblin? Oh, okay, good. Just the one? You see uh, the corner of a larger beast kind of pop out behind a shrub. <sighs> that is two. In the air. Mm. Yeah. Slow down. It'll start see, slowing uh, down. Slowly. Yeah, as you slow down, a couple of these larger creatures start to walk out in front of you. There we uh, go. Here we go. Uh, and you hear a voice call out from your uh, from your left. You stop. Only want goods. Leave. Take life. Deer will actually call out in Goblin. Evening, fellas. It replies back in Goblin. Not many speak our tongue around here. Who you? Just a passer through. Friends of some of your kind. With his uh, cloak up, 
He uh, sounds very distorted. His voice sounds deeper. Eh, ain't got many friends these days. Speak name. Name friend. Denier. I happen to know that you have a town nearby. Familiar. Dark launch. The One of your goblin kind slides over like that. Yeah, the little goblin slides down. Denier. Name familiar. You. Me Giblink. <gasps> Denier pulls his hood back. Well. You. Fancy meeting you here, Giblink. Uh, he calls back in Goblin to the uh, three hulking beasts back there. Stand down, stand down, this friend. They look confused for a second and just kind of like hold their clubs and just stand down a little bit, but kind of on edge. Asmo whispers to Wolfgang, Did I just hear Giblink? Fuck, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Oh my god, he's alive. Oh boy. Hey, keep it down, keep it down. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. shh, shh. Uh, go ahead and roll stealth while you're whispering that. I want to see if he could hear you. I didn't cast Pass Without a Trace. Oops. So, yep. We don't get any. Ah, beans. Yeah, full on beans. 19. 7. 17. Uh, they heard you, Wolfgang, and uh, T-Wig, you, you, you weren't actually talking there, so not really a huge issue. All right. I'm just staying completely still. Yeah. You have friend in back? You know who I travel with. Uh, savior. Denier uh, nods slowly. Uh, them, them come out. Put down weapon, no harm. He calls out in common. Wolfgang. Shoot a glance at Asmo. Just mouth be ready. Asmo nods. All right, Wolfgang steps out. Steps out. Oh, I step into Denier. <laughs> you, clip, you clip right through him. Obduration magic's fucking weird. It really is, but it's useful. What What bring you out this way? I live well. nearby. <laughs> uh, Giblink live nearby too. What bring you here? Don't see you here often. We've been away for a while. But, Giblink, Denier will slowly climb off. He'll make sure that uh, the mule is is not going to go anywhere. He'll hand over the reins to Wolfgang for a moment. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Yeah. Your friends are making all kind of waves. You've been, and of course, he's going to show that he's got no no weapons on him, no arms or anything like that. We're aware that you've been trying to not hurt people, and we respect that. They keep life. We just want live. What's happened in Dark Launch to cause you to start raiding out here. People come. People like him and people like lizards. They come. They they come in big, shiny metal armor. And they... They kicked us out. They killed those that resisted. They burned our homes! They kick us out of cave. We try find new cave. New cave not so plentiful. We no die. We live. We strong. We steal to live. We no kill. And that's a good way to that's a good way to think about it. To not kill. Because if you kill the men in metal will come again. But at the same time, the fact that you're stealing, the men in metal have taken notice. We don't have no choice. It's either this or we die. 
there's always a choice. What choice they give us? They come, they burn our land! They kill even our though, people. Even though your cave is gone, there is new land to be had. Form a city. Form a village. Begin trade. Had that. Had that. All gone. Asmo kind of like just like pokes um, Wolfgang in the back. Who back there? No, you can't see him. It's like his back is. He, uh, Wolfgang is outside of the cart. Oh, I thought he was right beside. Uh, I thought he was right beside Denier. Never mind. Oh, uh, I thought I thought it was sitting on the other seat. Yeah, the that's what I th that's what I thought oh. was happening. Sorry, then yeah, you can do that. But uh, I was just still for it. What... really okay. Yeah, nice. I you're we're doing trying to hide. Thirteen. Yeah, he still doesn't notice you. You poke him in the back though. There are good people in this area, not just the men of metal. I know it's difficult, and I know that it's going to be a troubling time, but there are people who can help. But stealing isn't going to get them to help you. It's only get them to send people in metal to try to stop you. People that won't be willing to talk. People that just kill first and ask questions later. Give Link try talk. Give Link try reason. People know like Giblink. People know like Giblink. People. I like People you. People know understand. Hmm. People. Cruel. Looking sort of stroking his beard. Thinking. Some people are cruel. Anyone can be cruel, but it's the question of should I be cruel or should I not be cruel? The North is incredibly cruel, but the people can be kind. But I wouldn't recommend going up there. Can't get that way, no how. Can't get to cave. Can't get north. Why Giblink listen to you anyway? You help kill Giblink people too. We saved your life, Giblink. You saved Giblink life. You kill some Giblink friends. Only because they tried to kill me first. You broke law. From a man that was breaking the law, keeping some of our people hostage. Our law, not your law! Hmm. Your near rubs his chin slowly. Why not try the front entrance to get to the north? Man with shiny coats out there. Lots of armor. Lots of weapon. They see us, they kill. Are you the only one that speaks common? Only one speak as well as do. I don't even know if this will work. What do you think of Wolfgang? As far as I know, there's a completely deserted town up north. You're thinking have... of Bordeaux. Not Bordeaux. That. What Bordeaux? I, I don't feel like I don't feel comfortable sending them to Bordeaux. Bordeaux thinking, is a city. I was thinking Birchwood Creek. Birchwood could work. Close enough to the close enough to the mall where some farming could be done. As well as the town is completely deserted. They could develop a. They could develop a village. Maybe trade with Cold Reach with a, uh, yeah. Let's Cold just say Reach, that Iron they're Reach. they're more accepting of stranger peoples up there. I think that would honestly be your best shot. I can see about pulling some strings, maybe getting you and your people 
up to Birchwood. You can tell him Wolfgang Connolly sent you. But you have to promise no more stealing. Roll persuasion with advantage. 23. He seems to be buying in a bit. How you know we get up there? How, how you know we get there safe? I am very connected. What mean? I know powerful people. People that are in charge. People that control the border. Like people that would send people to burn Giblink home? As uh, Asmo pokes Denier in the back and tries to get him to lean back a little bit so Asmo can whisper in his ear. Uh, stealth. Mm, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nine! <laughs> Natural one. He's he's focused dead on uh, Wolfgang here. We go with them. We go with them. Denier would... He stretches like he's cracking his back a little bit. And... We could see of escorting you, personally. We've been to the town before. People of both locations know who we are. We could get you through. You, you get us through. You get us through big... Get us through that big human building. That's right. We, we've been through both sides. Giblink is kind of like looking left and right at his people. There's definitely some chittering going on between them. <sighs> Giblink want trust you. You save Giblink. The others, they... Fine. Giblink trust you. Very good. <sighs> you take us with you to big human building and you get us through. We go north, we find new place, new home, new cave. Very well. Gather your people, gather your provisions, prepare for a long journey. Not as many as used to have. Others leave. Follow strange dark elf. No. You hear... Uh, <laughs> Kiwig sees... Uh, poor Asma just like grab his, grab his eyes and go... <sighs> Tiwig has not moved or spoken. I am like slapping this car <laughs> pretending to be armor or something as this has gone on. Yeah. If they yeah, follow like, the drow, they may be lost. And not like one you kill. Different. Talk How different? different? Talk different. Weird. Yeah, you're wise for not listening to them. He spoke, but he, he said many things, but he never spoke a word. He kept talking about how he couldn't say anything. No. No, no, he say lots of things. Promise lots of thing. What did he promise? He promised plentiful bounty. Giblink no belief. No, not trust them. Not trust Dark Elf. That's good. Up them north, you can folk. trust the. Up north, you can trust the Dark Elves even less. All right, Giblink, gather people. He starts calling out in Goblin. He basically yells out, Everybody get out here! And oh from the God, so woods, many. they start crawling out. How many total are there? I don't have to ask. There are a couple of female goblins. And uh, it looks like this is all of them. This is all what left Givlink clan. 
What about these shiny fellas that invaded your other cave? Them's what come from big building. Hmm. You take us there, we get through. Them apologize. Pay, Giblink. Reparation. That what call, right? Mm, it's what it's called, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's sort of been robbing people out here in the in the woods. They sort of didn't take too kindly to it. I think that most they'll call it even. Mm. As bad as that might sound, but we'll we'll see about getting you some stuff to start out with. All right. We follow. I ride with you. Okay. Giblin hops around to the back of the uh, <gasps> cart, and he sees. Uh... <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't move the. He sees Asmo. Cart's going to yeah, he sees, sees, sees Asmo in a <laughs> chunk of armor back there. Debbie is uh, in the. <laughs> Debbie, Asmo get out. Just, Asmo just waves. You Hello, can speak up. Why you no speak up? Uh, you can understand. Did not know if we could talk to you. I had to fight. <laughs> I'm the one who suggested we go up north with you. That way you guys can get through. The word of a man is the word of a man is one thing. Him actually being there is oh so much more persuasive. <laughs> Fair enough. This you is guys... uh this and this is a this is my suit of armor, by the way. Kank, kank, smacks T-Wig. No touch. Deal? T-Wig, no touch armor. Fine. T-Wig shifts over like a, oh, one of the boxes of silverware and sits on it. Shh. What do you care? Do, do you mean, do you mean the, the goblin? What was that? The you goblin, the goblin T-Wig. T-Wig. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, I, I meant to say Giblink. Blech. Gimblink shifts over a uh, box of silverware and sits down on it. Shh. What are you carrying? Shiny stuff. Opens up the lid. Forks. Mm. What do with forks? As the uh, caravan begins moving again, you I just assumed go- like, don't goblins like shiny stuff. Man, you do not know me, people. No, uh, that's racist. That is racist. I'm I'm sorry. You is racist. Okay. If you okay, everyone's... sweat, they would be sweating so hard. <laughs> just right now. leaking oil. I just imagine like a neutral face with just sweat drops <laughs> pouring over them. Yeah. All right. You begin uh, rolling this caravan northward toward Fallwood Barrow, and here is where we will take a break. Oh, awesome. Oh, oh I'm so glad we didn't have to fight them. Oh. So, you uh, have been traveling for what feels like. Another day, as you're uh, beginning to approach fall, what you know to be Fallwood Barrow, you start to see its little smoke billowing from the chimneys off in the distance. The trees outside are starting to become that very familiar reddish, goldish color as the leaves are beginning to become more autumn-like. And as you get closer with this massive horde of goblins trailing behind you, uh, you start to see some commotion happening on the road. It starts with one person kind of like darting off. Then uh, people begin gathering. And you see a large dog in the distance as well. Starting to bark at you. Murph! Murph! And okay. as you approach, you see a uh, mob of people. Some wielding torches. Some wielding pitchforks. A couple of them in actual guard attire kind of armor holding real weapons and Tobias Smith seniors among them and Giblink's just kind of in the back there looking out this is what I expect you know bring us to death you talk of course I'm gonna talk Lear pulls back his hood and he lifts a hand good evening good to see you Sergeant Sniffs it sits Whoa, 
to uh, like everybody's kind of like looking around. Tobias Smith Senior started steps forward. Um, <clears throat> what uh, what brings you and uh, your 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 guests? Well, we got told that uh, there's been some trouble in these parts, so we've come to solve the problem. We found the situation, discovered the reasoning behind the situation, and now we're working to fix the situation. Well, it looks like you brought the damn situation with you. Hey, 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 hey. Asma jumps out of the back. We're hey, taking... now, ho- Go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, we aren't just going to roll up here with a group of goblins and bugbears, all right? Ugh. One of the bugbears just kind of grunts at you when you're standing next to him. We're not going to just do that. It looks like with... that's what you did, though, if I'm to be honest, yells Mr. Smith. With, with ill intent, all right? Our goal is to go around the town. We're heading up to the wall. Okay? So if you wouldn't mind, the easier this can be, the better it is for everybody. We're just going around, okay? No ill wills intended. Isn't that right, Wolfgang? We'll take them past the wall, put them in the north, and then it'll be their problem. Not... Then they can actually do their thing without affecting the local area. We're doing right by them peacefully. If you could do right by us, we'd greatly appreciate it. As you know, we did defend the wall against the undead scourge that one time. So do us this solid, and we'd appreciate it. They kind of huddle around for a moment, glancing upwards. All right, we'll we'll escort you through town. I hope you understand we we can't exactly keep them here overnight. Yeah, yeah, we figured. Understand perfectly well. And uh, with that, the town kind of like you see, like a lot of windows kind of like get like curtains getting peeked through as you're wandering through town with this. Large mob of goblins. Is is this uh, other goblin in the back with me still? Yeah, he's just kind of like looking out the front of the caravan behind Denier. Kind of standing next to Wolfgang next to you. Oh. Is that a noise you actually made? No, I'm just thinking here. Yeah, I'm going to cast Hold Person on this goblin that's right next to me. Oh boy. Uh, go ahead and click that. Uh, casting it at level two, so the lowest level, just because I'm targeting one creature. So he has to make a, uh, a saving throw, a wisdom saving throw. All right. A natural one. He is startled to hell. Ah! Under attack! I, I no no no. He can't talk. He's frozen oh, he can't, completely. Oh, he's frozen. He cannot oh, talk. He's frozen. frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I I go up in front of him. I go. Hi there. I'm Tiwig. It's nice to meet you. You seem a little bit tense, so I figured I'd introduce myself like this so you don't scream and maybe stab my friends. It's okay. Hey. Hey. He's, it's he's okay. freaking out. Um, I'm like a puppet. It's like a costume. His eye, like, can he move his eyes, I'm guessing? You can shift his eyes, yeah. Yeah, his eyes are shifting around uh, Wolfgang. He's looking, like, directly at you right now. Wolfgang, help! Do I hear all this going on? I'm talking, so I, I assume I, you I, do. I, yeah. <laughs> Look back. Oh, fucking hell. All right. It's okay. <clears throat> it's right. Give link. Give link. Give link. You're all right. This is T-Wing. A little awkward, but... They mean well. Just well, we'll we'll unlock you here in a second. You just gotta promise me you you're not to freak out. Oh, he's about to in like two seconds. This only lasts a minute. What the? F- <laughs> it's gone. What the hell? You hear from the uh, carton? Uh, Where the are goblins are starting to? You're you're about halfway through town as the goblins start crowding the cart. 
Gibbling, gibbling, gibbling. A couple of the bugbears are like trying to climb through. Hello. Uh, we had a bit of a misunderstanding, sir. Everything's all resolved now. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What's the problem? What's going on in the back there? Yeah, the uh, town is getting very nervous because uh, they're, they're standing a lot more defensive as... It... Uh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wolfgang. I just... I wanted to say I could help, but I just... I should have maybe waited a little bit. I didn't realize we were... What help? What you? What you? I... I... You know armor! Uh, ooh, uh, 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 I just start shaking. I don't know. I've never been in this situation before. I... A, a living, living suit of armor. Yes. Who can make food? You make food. For you. I can. Show. I can make enough food for actually all of your friends. Show food. I can't you can right actually now. hear his uh, stomach grumble. Uh, ooh, I kind of dig through my bag. I have nothing, but... I can't... I have nothing right now for food, but if I have a rest, I can make food. It takes time, but I can make enough food for all your friends, and you'll be full for, like, a long time. You freeze Giblink, then promise food, then no give food. Asmo's mm. face palming right now. Listen, Giblink, we'll... We'll, we'll get you some food soon here. Alright, we'll get you enough food for you and your people. You just need to trust us, okay? Well, like, uh, a couple of the bugbears are chatting out back. We wouldn't save your life just to kill you uh, now. Denier, you pick up on uh, what they said. They said, mm, food. Town have food. Oh, no. Denier immediately calls out in Goblin, leave the townspeople alone. Listen up, man. You're not boss. Asma just grabs him. Tell them there's better food out in the woods. We'll hunt them. Get them a big, juicy bear. Why would you want the why would you want the townspeople food when there's better food out in the woods? Tell them they're not strong enough because humans are weak compared to goblins. Play to their ego. <laughs> not to mention, why would you want to take food from a bunch of weak humans? I mean, goblins are so much stronger than humans. It's smarter as well. Uh they aren't. Uh, go ahead and roll deception on that one. Okay. Yeah, I could literally kill them all right now if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, they, they literally just had their entire homes burned down 16. by. Nice. By dragon people, not humans. They bite. Giblink doesn't. Giblink doesn't believe you for a second, though. <clears throat> Giblin calls, just says, Giblin, Giblin calls out to them. We get food later. They promise. This one. Asma just pretty much, uh, Asma kind of grabs Wolfgang by the ear. Get them through town. I'll come back and buy every piece of bread they got in the goddamn town, okay? You don't need to do that. Oh my god. We'll start resting. Okay, okay. I just fall over and just start sleeping oh, again. <laughs> Punk. Oh. Meditating for now. <sighs> After a uh, tense three minutes, you manage to make it through the town. And uh, Mr. Smith on the other side. All right. You head up toward the wall. Hopefully See you on the way back, I hope. Circumstances. Hey, at least you don't have to worry about this anymore. Nazmuf says and just kind of gives him a slight salute. When I come back through here, I want to see your, your second kid. Her name's Margaret. He yells that to you. Can't wait to meet her. And we'll make sure they pay their dues as well once they're all set up. <clears throat> yeah, you guys. Continue on. Towards north. 
situation averted. Uh, that was a close fucking shave. Sorry. Thanks, Kiwig. I don't want to stay still. I'm sorry. I thought here. Oh, I would put this fire out with this wet liquid. Pours gas on the fire. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Oh god! Ah, oh, spaghettios. Uh, it's starting to get kind of late. You guys are definitely hours, starting huh? to feel it. Um, since you've left the town, yeah, maybe one. But you guys have been traveling all day with this caravan, or all evening with this caravan already. Okay. The uh, goblins and. Bugbears seem pretty active, but they're nocturnal folk. Everybody else is starting to feel a little tired, and if you want to continue to press on, I need you to make con saves. Except for you, T-Wig. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I'm trying to rest right now. I'm just in the back of the cart just trying to charge up to swap out a spell. 14. Denier's probably going to swap out with somebody since, you know, he's not bait anymore. Yeah, uh, Debbie is starting to slow down, too. Oh, no, Debbie. Mm. Aww. What do you think, guys? Should we call it and set up camp and maybe look for something to eat? Yeah, it will take me some time to get this spell ready if you want to go out and, like, hunt a deer or something. Yep. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Gibling. Yeah. You got any hunters in your gaggle? What do you call yeah. a group? Of... What do you call a group of goblins? Trouble. The trouble of goblins. <laughs> you got any hunters? Uh, Gibling, not bad with bow. All right. Anybody else, or just you? Uh. Them lots more for, uh, how you say, crunching. That's fair. Fighters. Fighters. All right, Gimli, come with me. We'll go looking for some food. All right. Uh, he kind of barks out some orders in Goblin, letting them know just to hold the ground. They'll be back with food. And they actually get to work building a fire. In order to cook said food. Sick. Uh, as you wander out into the wood you know as the hex wood, it's dark and dark but very calm tonight. Uh, it's just you and Giblink Wolfgang. Uh, who else is anybody staying? Uh, Asma's gonna stay with the with the wagon. I'm going to stay and just focus on, on what I'm trying to get done. Yeah. Trying to get rested. All right. Denier uh, will go. Since it's the Hexwood, he knows that there's a lot of stuff uh, mm. potentially going on in the Hexwood. Mm. Unless somebody wants Denier to stay, since he can speak Goblin. I cannot I metagame. Stay. I cannot case. metagame. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? Denier should probably stay. Uh... Or if if Gib if Giblink and Asma stay, that's okay. But Denier, if Giblink's not here, then we need a uh, a language. We need a, we need a translator. Yeah, you know? that's fine. Yeah, they're all just kind of grunting about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Giblink. So that heads, means so Giblink under uh, under your suggestion, Wolfgang Giblink he Giblink heads out with you. He uh, strings up, looks to be a fairly grubby short bow. All right. You outdoor man, wear hunt. Hmm. Let's look near, uh, let's look near, see if we can find any bodies of water. All right, give me a survival check, see if you can hear any rivers or anything. Nice, be kind. Fifteen? Nice. Yeah, you can kind of hear the crickling of a creek out there you start to wander out that way and as you're wandering through the forest you're still hearing uh 
the average uh, the wild sounds, you know, just birds flitting in the trees seem to be coming into nest for the evening. Uh, bats chittering in the sky. And then you come across this creek. Moon's looking down on it. I want you to make a survival check, see if you can find any animals to hunt Great. down. Thanks, nice weekend again. Seven. Giblink's going to help you out. Uh, Giblink notices some rustling in a uh, in some bushes, kind of like points it out to you. And you can spot a few rabbits. Mm, probably not enough feed. Not whole crew. Probably not. Giblink strings up his bow and tries to shoot one of the rabbits. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Nat 20, he gets two of them. Ooh. Dang. Yeah, apparently, uh, it's that season. So he gets two of them. Right. You weren't kidding when you said you were good with the bow. Yeah, mostly cave hunt. But same principle, suppose. Mm. All right, this will probably feed about two of you. Yeah, maybe. Ain't eaten in a while. It's something in the stomach. Yeah. It'll it'll buy time until T Wig's ready to do do its thing. What T Wig? Magic armor. What? How? How work? It's called an Arcanicon. Arcanicon. Something along that lines. It's it's a, like a living metal person. No, get it. Strange. Yeah, it was strange to me too. That's just like any other person, just made of metal and doesn't really know a whole lot. Hmm. All right. Uh, Giblink walks over to the rabbits and just kind of like picks them up and shoves them in a rucksack. All right. Look around a little more and meet back at camp. Sounds good to me. All right. Giblin kind of like wanders off to forage. Uh, go ahead and roll me another survival check as you're perusing okay. the woods for edibles. Here I go. 18. Nice. Ooh. All right. You, fumble, you stumble upon a uh, tree that seems to be budding with a bunch of berries. Start plucking those, and it happens uh, just under this bush. There's a nice patch of mushrooms, so pick them. And you hear a little cracking off in the distance, and as you look up, you notice a large stag bending down to take a drink from the creek, or bending down to take a drink from the creek. I'm going to try to get within 30 feet of it. Slowly. All right, go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Please be kind. Thirteen? You just managed to beat it. It it sort of wiggles its ear for a second as you feel like you're uh, getting a little too close, but you manage to hide behind a tree as it looks up. The man wearing all white. <laughs> yeah, so you're out of sight, luckily. All right, but I am within 30 feet of it, correct? You're within 30 feet of this stag. All right. I'm going to summon Requiem. Gonna cast True Strike. All right, you point at that deer, and you think gonna, you got it in your head. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the Red Dead thing and go, just to get its head to poke up a little bit. Heads poke up. It flicks its ear. Bam! Roll the hit. With advantage because of True Strike. Twenty six. Nice. All right, roll your damage on Requiem. Damn, nice, dude. Nine piercing. Got him right between the eyes. It licks its lips there for a second, as if it doesn't realize what happens, and then kind of crumples down. <laughs> and uh, a whole bunch of birds above you just kind of fly out of the trees. Do we uh, hear the gunshot? Back back? Yeah, meanwhile, back at camp, everybody 
heard that pop out in the distance. The bug bears are, what, 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 what that, what that, under attack, what? No, no, no. in here starts translating. Hunters, the man in white, he found something. They uh, kind of commune amongst themselves like, man in hunting. white, fight, hunting, hunting, what, what, what make noise, how make bang? He, Asmo. His weapon, his weapon makes a big bang. Asmo pantomimes. Oh, like Asmo, gonna... you don't know what they're saying. Oh. oh. Okay. Right. You don't speak their language. I don't. Uh, dang it. Yeah, they seem to comprehend what you're saying. Hmm. They continue to build the fire, which is getting nice and hot. All right, Wolfgang. <clears throat> you have what is essentially a, uh, I don't know, 100-pound deer. Fuck yeah. Nice. So what are you going to do? <laughs> How are, you gonna, are you just going to hoist it? Yeah, I'm just going to drape it over my shoulders and put all the mushrooms and berries I found in a bag and start heading back to camp. All right. Uh, in order to get it up into that position, I'm just going to need you to roll a quick athletics check in order oh, to boy. get it into that fireman's carry. My favorite stat. 12? You fumble a little bit. Your boots get a bit wet when stepping in the creek, but you manage. And you get it up over your shoulders, and you start wandering back to camp. We're not built for this. Ugh, okay. Right, meanwhile, back at camp, uh, Giblink shows up, and he's got a... Basically, he, he has a couple of rabbits and five bats in a bag, and he just kind of like pours it out. Find food. Forage. Uh, all the uh, bugbears around just start, like, ripping at the rabbit flesh. Uh, like, holding it over the fire with their hands. <laughs> How many hours has it been, the hunting? Uh, it's maybe one. God damn, okay. Yeah, sorry. You, you've been resting for about two and a half hours now, I'd say. Okay. And Wolfgang returns with a massive stag over his shoulders. Everybody seems very impressed, Wolfgang. Ooh. Ah, that's Dinner served. Job. How, how, how covered in blood is Wolfgang? Uh, the exit wound was on the head, so there's definitely some blood going down his, uh, the right side, like from his right shoulder down. Looks like a very clean kill, though. Damn, Asmo jokingly, damn, he got you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Asmo checks out the head, oh, right between the eyes. I take back what I said. Sort of winks at him. Let's stop it. All right. You guys, you guys go about prepping the deer, you remove the head, and uh, the bugbears have basically ripped down a small birch tree and create a pike and then just like shove that thing over the fire like impale the deer <laughs> after it's been skinned i'm gonna watch this whole process Don't and as the me. meat cooks they kind of like walk up to it as if it's some sort of like shawarma and just rip pieces of cooked meat off it at a time and you guys can enjoy some as you like as well yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna carve a few pieces off for myself and just put them in my bag like jerky or something yeah you Get some preserved deer. And you munch on whatever you want to for the evening. Oh, that's what helps some stuff. Some of that deer. Deneer's going to use some of his pepper to uh, pepper? help season it. Ooh. Yeah. It offers a nice, like, kind of spicy sweetness. And he'll, <laughs> he'll also offer it to any of the, he'll offer some to any of the goblins that want to try it as well. They kind of sneer at you and kind of like go, like move away. What is this exotic spice that you've brought to our lands, Denier? <laughs> Pepper. So here's the question, Wolfgang. Do we let them know ahead of time that we're coming, or do we just show up on the border? How do we let them know ahead of time? Oh, right, your magic. My magic. 
Uh, that'd probably be the most prudent thing to do. Probably result in a lot less shot goblins. Yeah, but... The question is, who do we talk to for... I mean... Do we... get authorization to take them through first, or do we talk to, say, Caneswald first? Ooh, we leave him at the di we leave him at a distance, and Wolfgang walks out there. I'm Wolfgang Connolly, and uh, he does his thing. <laughs> and we walk on through. Now I am simplifying this. It's going to be a challenge to convince them, but I mean it's a pretty simple process. Well, that's why I'm talking about giving them a heads up ahead of time, so they won't yeah. immediately be on guard the moment they see us. Yeah, well, when we get close, uh, Wolfgang should. Uh, Go on ahead. What do you say, Wolfgang? Yeah, I can do that. You got name, brand, recognition. Oh, it won't take too kindly, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do what I gotta do. Right, well, we're doing a good deed, so, uh, I guess it excuses us being a little bit, uh, short with people. I'm glad we didn't kill them. I feel bad. Pushed out of your home sucks. I know Denier could speak to it. It has been a whole long time. I, mean, I can I kind of relate to being pushed out of my home myself, having only yeah. recently acquired my childhood one. What yeah. is what is home? Do you remember that house we were at in Amberley? Uh, yes. The one where the human puppy lives. That's my home. So it's just like a building. Uh, it's a, more like a permanent place where people can stay. Hmm. It's often a place where other members of your pack are located. Oh, okay. Being away from home is like saying you're away from your pack. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Sometimes you... Sometimes it's not your choice. Hmm. Yeah, you but I guess sometimes. we're home, like, right now, because you guys are the pack, and we're a big group, and... Oh. Right? I'm sorry, uh, I don't think I can understand. Not exactly. Not exactly. I always... I always... Oh. Home is where the people you most care for all congregate. Gotcha. Okay, so it's like a den. It could be a place. Exactly. But it can move, you know? As long as they're all there. Like a herd. Okay, so it's like a herd yeah. and a den. Mm -hmm. Both. More or less. Okay. I had the, yeah, that's the best way of describing it. I used to have a herd. And they ain't around anymore. But Snakes do not have herds, though. You, I'm going with your metaphor. Oh. God damn, you're so adorable, T-Wig. Oh, what is adorable? What you are. <sighs> I, that doesn't tell me anything, but thank you. Um, where are we going, though, with all these new friends? <clears throat> We're going to the mall. The mall? Which is... It's a little bit. It's a little bit up north. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, I'm sorry about almost messing things up. By the way. Well, you were literally literally born a couple of days ago, so I mean, it's a learning experience, Tiwi. Hmm. Next time I will I will not move. I will be more patient. Or you could try, you know, being up front. Well, making... I did try that, but I knew if I just did that, he probably would yell, because he was saying he didn't like metal things, and I metal, and... I don't know, I just didn't want him to immediately assume. Wait, can you speak Goblin? Me? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Hold on. He was talking in common, though, wasn't he? Yeah, he speaks common. Mm. Broken, but he speaks it. Yeah, I can understand that. I don't, no. Well, either way. 
in that particular instance, it doesn't didn't really matter. But in the future, you know, we can we can explain you away. So don't feel the need to, you know, be a recluse and mm. be catatonic. That's his preferred, actually. You'd okay, prefer it if. Well, I prefer it if people like know I'm back there, so that way they're not like, eh. Yeah. Because you know, that makes me feel kind of bad. Yeah, we can. You're 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 just another one of us. Where we can, we can tell people what you are. Okay. When we get to the mall, you seem like the type that's at one with nature. I want to know what you pick up. When we get to the mall, what you feel once we get there. Oh, you want me to pick things up there? No, I want you to sense things. I want you to tell me what you sense, what you interpret, what you feel. I don't like getting anywhere near that place, but I want to know how it makes you feel. Well, that's going to be hard because, you know, I don't feel a lot. I mean, I'll I'll try, okay? I'll, I'll try. That's all I can ask. I'm going to go back to focusing on my spell. Uh, and whenever four hours pass, I will be able to swap that out. Yeah, the goblins and uh, bugbears all seem to be communing around the fire and chatting. Some of them seem to be telling stories with very animated arm styles. Uh, oh, Denier gets Denier, you can, Yeah, you can probably pick up on this. They seem to be telling the tales of... Uh, Helpless passers-by who got eaten by some of those cave fishers that you ran through. Yup. And they seem to be uh, laughing it up when they uh, <laughs> exaggeratedly, like, oh, 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 oh. Then Denier comes in and talks about how uh, how, the, how the three of them kicked the ever-loving hell out of the cave fishers. There's a silence to that because that was also the day that you killed a lot of their friends. Mm. Ooh. And then he slowly tries to change topic to uh, some of the stories that he's learned through from his adventure. Gonna need to roll a persuasion check to get the crowd back on your side there, Denier. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, persuasion. 18. It takes a while for them to warm up, but they uh, kind of dig on some of the stories you're telling because they're not used to the outside world. And a lot of what you're telling them, uh, you, you try to stay away from saying exactly where some of these things took place, especially mm -hmm. the story with the giant skeleton. But mm -hmm. they seem very interested in a lot of your tales. And uh, eventually you start getting a little too tired and you have to turn in for some sleep. He'll set his alarm, and he'll turn in and go to bed. Uh, the alarm, I, I... Man, you're going to have to set it, like, with <laughs> regards Basically. to all of these guys. Unless they just, you know... They, they're, they're up and standing guard around you, but... Yeah, we can, we can just keep watch. We can just do alternating watch. I'm awake there. as well. I mean, I'm just going to be staring off to the distance, so... It's only, you know... A twenty foot cube, like it's just a. It's a oh, okay, small so area. inside the wagon, in case any of them are gonna, yeah, try pretty to much. ambush you. Gotcha. All right. Well, the night passes by without any sort of big events. Everybody gets your full rest in. Mm -hmm. And oh, in the morning, you. Yeah. Begin your march again. All right. Excitedly, I'm going to run up to uh, to Wolfgang, I guess. Or actually, no, Asmo. I'm gonna run up to Asmo. In the morning? Yeah, immediately. First, first thing in the morning. How Asmo. Close? Asmo, <laughs> right here. Uh, God, what? Asmo, okay, okay. Yeah, what? What? What's up? Grab, grab this ear and pull it down. What? Just grab my ear and pull it down. What <laughs> ear? This one. I point to my, uh, uh, as he's looking at me, would be the right ear. So your left, my right? Yeah. Okay. Aswell grabs it and pulls it down. 
my front face plate will open and then I will dispense a good berry and then it'll close like a gachapon. What is this? It is a good berry. Uh, that's nifty. <laughs> Out of character, what's a good berry? A good berry is a... Think of it like a sensu bean. It provides you all your nutrients for a day. Oh, wow. It's like that bread from Lord oh. of the Rings. Oh. <laughs> Holy... Uh, uh, I think it also has healing properties, but... Yeah, you get to heal You heal one, one hit point. Yeah. Asmo, like, you love it. Should I try it? Yeah. Um, Asmo eats it. It bursts in your mouth, and it's it's like this passion fruity grapey flavor. That's really good, thank you. Uh, that... no problem. And your stomach all of a sudden feels like really full, like you feel sustained. How often can you do that? Uh, well, I have nine more of those, and then if I cast it again, I can do it again. You're full of surprises, there, T Wig. I am, and I'm full of food. I'm gonna run up to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Just start furiously clicking the ear. <laughs> Denier, Denier, pull my ear. Okay. Get it. He reaches up, takes the ear, and gives it a little bit of a pull. I will dispense another good berry. And if you pull my other ear, I can dispense water. I will keep that in mind, but I do not need any water. Uh, the okay. goblins might want water more than me right now. And sure. The goblins and bugbears all seem kind of tired. They're uh, and kind of cranky for having to like walk in the sun. They hate it. I will. I will provide everybody good berries. I will run around and dispense them. And for anyone who wants water, how much water can I make with this? Uh, oh, I can make ten gallons of water. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of water. Yeah. So whoever wants water, whoever wants food, I'm I'm, I'm like a vending machine now. Yeah, there are 11 goblins, well, uh, between the goblins and the bugbears, you'd need 11 good berries. Yeah, so I have to cast it twice. Uh, and then if any water is used, I'm going to have to, god, it's all three of my slots. Okay, well, everyone's fed and watered, so hopefully they won't be too cranky. And I will introduce myself to each and every single one of them, as friendly as I can. Denier will translate. You've learned a lot of very confusing, grunty names. Cool. Try my best to remember. I'm them. not going to. No, them. don't worry, don't worry. I'm not. <laughs> my favorite one is. <laughs> Lots of noises that sound like somebody trying to write out the automatopoeia uh, for a sneeze. Yeah, I will turn to. Um, uh, oh, what was the goblin's name? I'm so sorry. Giblink. Giblink. It was Giblink. I was called a Grublink. I'm going to turn to Giblink and go, <sighs> See? I told you I could do it. He kind of like nods himself awake in the back of the cart. Eh. Huh? Oh, Holds the nice. berry. Ow. Go ahead. It's very filling. Oh my god. Mm. Kind of burps a little. I, I can do that for you and your friends. It is as a sorry for scaring you and also freezing your body parts. Give blink for give for now. Thank That's you. all I ask for. Right. I'll leave him be. Giblin kind of like nods off. Uh, you travel through the day. Uh... Luckily, some of the bugbears seem to be keeping up pretty well. Uh, some of the, a lot of them have like goblins just kind of hanging on their back, sleeping. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bugbears were smart here. enough that some of them. Uh, Managed to sleep during the night. But the goblins, they're, uh, they're truly nocturnal. And uh, you start getting close as the sun begins to dip in the sky. You know you're getting close to the wall. Mm, getting close. How far away would you say we are right now? Uh, you, can, you can see some smoke billowing on the horizon. Uh, you know that that's probably coming from the wall. Hey, Wolfgang. Well, not the horizon, but further down the wooded path as the trees are starting to get less and less full of foliage. Uh, Asma just kind of like shouts out to Wolfgang. Hey, Wolfgang, we're getting close. Think you should head off and go speak to them. <clears throat> right. 
Best of luck. We wait here then? Yeah, we'll slow down, at least. All right, you slow your pace some as Wolfgang starts to double his pace and move ahead of you. Wolfgang, you wander down the path of the Fallwood. Everything seems pretty calm. Nothing seems out of place as the sun begins to dip behind the mountains. There's still light in the sky, but you're definitely in the shadow of the mountain now. And oh. you end up getting to the wall in about an hour. By that time, it's dusk. And you see some activity up front out on the uh, parapet overlooking the entrance you're walking up to. Hold there! State your business! My name is Wolfgang Connolly. I need to speak to whoever's in charge here. I can get Lieutenant Caneswell for you, but what brings you this way, Mr. Connolly? Oh, we're, uh... We're just passing through, but, uh, our, our cargo is, uh... Something that we figured you should be made aware of before it actually came through. All right, I'll get the lieutenant. Open the gates! It's Connolly! You hear kind of a soft cheer from inside. And the gates begin to open. And you can wander your way in. You see that the uh, walls are the walls kind of brimming with activity. It seems uh, there's they're definitely in preparation for the event that's going to be taking place here in the next week. The <sighs> event, uh, you know, the summit that they're talking about over at Silver Rock. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And since they got that going on, they're definitely going to have some people of importance passing through their walls. Lieutenant Gaineswall greets you out in the courtyard. Uh, to what do we owe the pleasure, Mr. Connolly? Good to see you again, Lieutenant. Uh, <clears throat> me and Asmo and Denier, we... Well, we picked up on something pretty interesting. Apparently there was a uh, string of robberies. Uh string of robberies near uh, Fallwood Boro. Hmm. Yes, we've heard about that. I sent some men out to investigate, or at least to keep the town more at peace. Goblins, from what I understand. Damn filthy creatures. Right. Boy. Oof, oof, oof. We found them. Ah, done away with them, have you? We're in the process of that. Oh, do you need men? I can enlist a few at least, at least for no, your No, 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 no. We, we've rounded them up. We are taking them up north. And we His are leaving them there. facial expression shifts a little. Um, through the border. Is that going to be a problem? I know goblins well, don't really have citizenship, but... Oh, well, I mean, they're basically monsters, so... Well, uh, basically monsters and monsters aren't the same thing, I'm afraid, Lieutenant. I've been hunting monsters all my life. Fair enough, you're the expert. Uh, that being said, you're asking... You're asking me to let them through the border. Here's my thinking, Lieutenant. They might be a bit primal. But I've been to one of their cities. Believe it or not. Granted, I had to kill a few to get out, but that was extenuating circumstances. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're more used to us alive than dead. See, the North and the South have sort of a thing going now, right? There's this big summit that's happening. Oh, trust me, I'm aware of that one. The goblins, they're cunning. And I think I can use that. You see, if I can get them working, 
they can pay back their dues to all the people they've wronged ten times over. And I will personally see to it that that gets done. They're not just a bunch of stupid creatures like any undead. They can think. They can build communities. And they can work for us. Mr. Connolly, come with me. He kind of waves you into the uh, building. Kind of takes you up to his office. <clears throat> Look, I'm sure if we made a call that you'd get your permission to let them through this wall. I, I know you have a lot of slay, sway with the royals. But do you think that with all this that's going on, that the that the Northerners are just going to let them march through? You may have sway here. I'm not sure how far yours goes up there. We seem to be on respectable enough terms with the Archmage. But... Have you ever been there? Up north? I've been up to their fort up there. Just in preparations. Did you see the empty town? Never been outside the wall up there. Birchwood Creek. Gone. Entirely. Deserted. And you want to try to convince the Northerners to let goblins take up there? How long it's has it been then? since you've been up there? About nine months. Do you know that it's still deserted? No. No, I don't. You're taking quite a gamble here, Mr. Connolly. Well, I always bet my life when I go out hunting monsters. I guess I'm Seems betting my reputation by saving them. Seems you're betting See? a few more lives in the pattern, too. No, no, no. They know full well who I am and what I'm capable of. And they know what will happen to them if they ever get out of line. I'm saying the North is far more receptive to stranger residents. If you say so. If not Birchwood, we have more options. But these goblins were run out of their homes. They were perfectly fine, perfectly docile until they were run out. And now they're trying no, to run. it was them. my men that did it. Fuck it. Smugglers. <clears throat> murderers. They let through the god... Damn. The monster that did what it... What? What monster? That boy. Oh. That killed my men. Right. That can't be allowed. I'm sorry, Mr. Connolly, but if it's up to me, I'm... I'd killed a lot of them. Sort of reach out and clasp my hand on the shoulder. Well, I respect you on your decision. I know that the goblins have created much sorrow in their wake. Even though they've been the victims of it as well. Thank you for your time. We should could have been under better circumstances, Mr. Connolly. That's all right. Doubtless I'll be up through here before long on some other mission. Well, I wish you luck. I'd still you as well. A few, I'd still offer a few men if you just want to get rid of them. 
I think we got it taken care of. Very well. Best of luck to you, Mr. Connolly. And you as well. You're going to need it. They'll let you out of the base and they uh, close the wall behind you and you begin your well much longer than anticipated walk back to the goblin caravan. I think it's going up, okay. I would hope so. Where we will pick up next time on Roll With Me. Oh, oh dear. God. Oh, my. oh, no. What are we going to do with the goblins? <laughs>